I'm going to start today by creating an account. I'm going to call this account Scoopy's Plaza. We're going to save the form and we're going to create an invoice for this account. Click on New Invoice. Start by giving it a name. We're going to give it Scoopy's Weekly Invoice. And the price list, we'll just make that standard and save the form. Next, we need to add some products. We'll just make them right in. Click New Invoice Product. Give it a product description. We'll just call this Ice Cream Cones. Price per unit, 20 cents. And quantity, 5,000. Just click Save and New so we can create a new one. And this is going to be the ice cream flavors. Price per unit is going to be $20 and quantity 10. And we'll just save and close this form. Just going to hit recalculate to refresh the form and give us a total amount. Next, we're going to jump over to the zero tab and make sure that we add it to zero and then save and close that form and save and close the account. We're just going to jump over to zero now. In the accounts menu, we're going to go into accounts receivable. Then we're going to go into drafts. You can see that the invoice has been there. We'll just click into it. And then we'll approve the invoice. Now that the invoice has been approved, we can make a payment to it. We can add the date that it was paid. Which account it was paid into, and then add the payment. Now we're going to jump back into CRM, open up the account, go to the invoices section, open up the invoice. On the side menu, there's payments. We'll go into that, and as you can see, the payment has been created there.